Hi YouTube, it's Mama Dodon and Baby Fawn Charlotte. Hi Charlotte! Hello! And today I have a ton of stuff behind me because I wanted to make a retail arbitrage haul. And this is going to be my first video of doing this, but I love watching these kinds of videos. With that being said, I don't think most of the viewers on this channel do retail arbitrage. So first I want to explain what it is that I'm doing and why I'm making a video about it. So retail arbitrage is where you buy items from local retail stores, Walmart, Target, Marshalls, whatever store that may be, and then you resell them online for a higher price. So most people go to the clearance items, pick out items that have been highly discounted, and then sell them at the normal retail price online to other people around the U.S. who want them. So I do this on my Amazon business and I go around to many, many different stores, but I just had a couple really nice hauls from TJ Maxx and Marshalls that I wanted to share with you guys where I spent uh, around $150 and I'll be making around $150 off of my investment. So I'll be doubling my money on everything that I bought here and I wanted to share with you guys what I got. If you guys are interested in learning more about retail arbitrage and how to get started and how to get into it, since I know that's not what this channel is about, um, I would be more than happy to share that with you guys, give you my tips, tell you how I got started. As always, my little one's making noise in the background. Um, but this is what I have purchased at TJ Maxx and Marshalls, how much I bought it for, how much I'm going to make. Okay, so the first thing I got here is this. Peck Sniffs England Men's Bath and Shower Gel. I got this in two different scents. The first one is the classic scent, and the second one is the professional scent. I bought these for $5 each. They're going to sell for $21 each on Amazon, and between fees and shipping and everything, I'm going to make $8 off of every single one of these. I bought seven of them total. There were actually more of this brand, the Peck Sniffs brand. There were two other scents, but those scents weren't selling well on Amazon. So I chose the classic and the, I forgot which one, professional, because these ones had high ranks on Amazon, so they're going to sell fairly quickly. And I actually really do like the smell of these. I ended up keeping um, one of them. To send my brother for his birthday. Next thing I got was this Michigan uh, watch. Um, this is a sports team watch. I'm like super not familiar. It's Michigan Wolverines, Michigan State. I don't know for sure. But um, these are things to watch out for because uh, at TJ Maxx and Marshalls especially, they will sometimes randomly get in items that don't pertain to your state and aren't going to sell well in your state. So I live in Illinois. Why this Michigan uh, watch ended up in Illinois, I do not know. But because of that, it was super highly discounted and I'm going to be able to sell it for a profit, most likely to someone in Michigan who wants this watch. This watch was one of my better finds. I bought it for $12. It's going to sell for $39 after fees and everything. I'm going to make $18 off of this sale. Sell so because I am in Illinois, uh, pretty close to Chicago at that. And I purchased this watch for $10. It's going to sell for $29, and I will make a $10 profit on it. This Valentine's pasta, I actually did this haul in January, so I'm going to be getting this in before Valentine's Day, although it, this video probably won't go up on, Am or on YouTube um, until after Valentine's Day. But this Valentine's pasta, I purchased for $4. It's going to sell for $10. I'll make two dollars off of each of these and I bought nine of them total. I found this organic uh, black bean spaghetti. This I purchased for four dollars. It is going to sell for ten dollars and I will make a two dollar profit off of it. Um, one of my big tips for retail arbitrage is buy something that if it doesn't sell you're going to use. So pretty much everything that you see here I can either gift to people I know or I will use myself. A lot of the grocery items I like purchasing because if they don't sell by the expiration date or they don't sell with enough profit for me, I'm going to be able to just send them back and use them myself. What I found is this green bean fettuccine. And this I purchased for $4 as well, but it will sell for $14 and I will make a $6 profit off of this. 
Fennel Coconut Patties. And these were in the clearance aisle from Christmas time, which is the perfect time to look for these kinds of things right after Christmas. I bought these for $3.50 each. They're going to sell for $12 each, and I will make $5 off of each of these. I purchased three of them, so I'll make a $15 profit total. I purchased these handmade baklavas in a variety of different flavors. Um, anything uh, that is very niche to a certain area or culture, especially with food, usually sells fairly well on Amazon because it's unique and you can't find it just anywhere. Like, you're not going to pick these up at Walmart or anything like that. So um, these are a good thing to watch out for. I got a lot of these and I purchased them for $4 each. They will sell for $15 each and I will make $4 profit on each of these sales. Um, I got 11 total, so that's $66 profit on these. Uh, one thing I really like picking up is board games. You can find them at clear on clearance at TJ Maxx and Marshalls really easily. They're a good thing to look for. I'm sorry about that little one in the background. She wants to be a part of this video. You copy be patient, kiddo. Um, but I also collect board games, so that works out for me because if they don't sell, I will use these. Um, this geek out game... I purchased for $7.50. It's going to sell for $16 and I will make a $2 profit on it. Set on clearance for $8.50. It is going to sell for $27 and I will make a $10 profit on it. These back and forth board games and I bought these for $12 each. They sell for $24 and I'll make a $4 profit on each of these. I found this mystery date game and I purchased this for $8.50. It is going to sell for $27 and I will make a $10 profit on this game. I found this Awa Lot uh, Scottish Fine Soaps. This is a bathing milk and I purchased this for $5. It sells for $15. I will make a $2 profit. The candies for $2. These sell for $10, and I will make a $2 profit on each one. I purchased three of them. These British cocktail candies I purchased for $4. They are going to sell for $15, and I will make $4 on each one. And I purchased eight of these, so that's a $24 profit total on these. These Michoski candies for $6 each. They will sell for $15, and I will make $2 on each one, and I purchased four of them total. These in my home, so I found this uh, pattern play puzzle for $7. It will sell for $20, and I will make a $5 profit. I found this Nano Scene Light Up Collectible Display, um, and this was only $6. It will sell for $20, and I will make a $6 profit. Just hoping it doesn't sell because this is too cute. Um, I purchased this Baby Stack toy for $10. It will sell for $20. And I will make a $3 profit on this sale. It was such a good find. I actually purchased one of these cars for my foster kids, and they are so much fun. They can go in both water and on the road. I found this for $10. It's going to sell for $30, and I will make a $10 profit on this. So if you guys were doing the math with me, um, you're seeing that like my profit and what I purchased doesn't add up to the total price of the item and that's because I have to subtract Amazon fees and the cost of purchasing the item and the cost of shipping the item. So there's a lot of little fees that I have to factor into everything that I buy to get my eventual um, net profit that you see me listing at the end of each item. This trip took me three hours to do. I spent two hours at Marshall's and one hour at TJ Maxx. I spent $278 total on everything, and I will make $235 total on everything. So I almost doubled my money, and I made approximately like $72 an hour while I was out shopping. And this is something that I do um, basically on days when I don't really have other inventory to work on or no other business tasks that I need to get done. And I just want to go out, source some inventory, get out of the house, do something fun with Charlotte. It's a way that I can get my shopping itch out without actually breaking the bank because everything I'm investing in should make me money in return. So it's kind of just a fun little 
finders game to go out and do. This isn't the main way that I make money on Amazon. Most of my products are sourced or handmade by me, and then I sell them in bulk on Amazon. I don't usually do retail arbitrage, but it is a fun thing that I really enjoy doing and I wanted to share with you guys. If you enjoyed seeing this haul and seeing how you can make money shopping, uh, leave me a comment and I will definitely make more of these kinds of videos in the future because this is something I really enjoy doing and I would love to teach people and show people how easy it is to go out, spend three hours, and make $235. Now, because the cranky little miss needed to be on video, hey, hi, over there crying, acting like you're never getting attention, even though when the camera's off, you just get attention all day long. <laughs> She's too cute. I did purchase one thing for her, even though I shouldn't have because I'm on a budget not to just buy things for kids, but... These are $4 on clearance and they're these cute little, it's 2T, so she isn't quite 2T yet. She's 18 months at the moment. Clothing, okay, you want to hold it. But it's this adorable little monster pajama set that I just thought was so cute and she loved it. She wanted to hold it right away. So we ended up purchasing that for $4. Probably shouldn't have, but that like brings my total down to $230 for what I'm going to earn <laughs> on all the things because I spent four of it already. But I hope you guys like this video. These are definitely um, things that I want to share in the future. I really love doing retail arbitrage. I'd love to share my hauls with you guys, show you what I purchased, what I made, and then maybe I'll even do an update in a month or two on how well everything actually sold um, because that is part of it. Um, sometimes with retail arbitrage, not everything sells or it gets discounted by other sellers hopping on and undercutting your price. So we'll see how well all of this does. I'll do an update video if you guys are interested in that. If not, I definitely plan on continuing to do these retail arbitrage hauls because there's something that I think is really fun and I hope you guys enjoy watching. Um, as always, thank you for watching and I will see you guys in the next video.